Hey, what is up guys? Big A Boss Man here, and today I am bringing you episode 2 of Tekka Tutorials, and uh, in this episode, I am going to show you how to use a pump to take lava, so pump lava out of, out of a volcano, or any type of lava source if there's like a giant pool of lava in like a, a ravine or something, how to pump it out of there and use it as your electricity source to like use uh, furnaces, macerators, MFE units, all that cool stuff. So let's get into the things you're going to need. Um, first of all, as you can see, I'm using the default texture pack for this tutorial and the tor tutorials that I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, I'm doing this so you guys actually know what they look like in the default texture pack. So if you do look up the recipes, you know what it looks like and all that cool jazzy stuff. And I have my own um, makeshift volcano that I made here. Um, I'm going to try to keep all my tutorial stuff all, all in this area. As you can see, the cobblestone generator I created for you last tutorial. So let's get into the things you're going to need. Um, so let's get into it. Yeah. So first thing you're going to need is a pump, of course. And then you're going to need, you don't need the basalt brick, but you need some type of block. Some type of block. It doesn't matter what kind. You're going to need some steam engines, some wooden waterproof pipe, cobblestone or stone waterproof pipe, geothermal generator. All right. Um, some glass fiber cable. I like to use glass fiber glass fiber cable other than the um, regular copper cable just because um, I like it better and it, condu it conducts better. Um, you're going to need, I am just have this electric furnace, but you can use anything that uses electricity like a macerator or uh, whatever else uses it like a ma macerator. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. So... And then I'm just going to use some tanks. This is good for storage of the uh, lava. So let's get into it. And right here, you're also going to need a redstone torch. You're going to need two of them for this setup. And you're actually going to need some coal, which I actually forgot to get at the moment. So right here, just get a, whatever amount of coal you need. And then we'll just put that there. So, all right. So let's get into it. What you want to do is first you want to set up the pump. So one thing, you're going to put your block right there, and then put the pump right above the lava, right above. Now, now this is the pump setup. Um, I'm just gonna cover that up. So you only want that one block showing. It, that will it makes you don't need it, but it makes it easier. So then you have that. Now what you want to do is you can break that. So now you want to set up your steam engines right on the side. Um, I'm just going to set up four, uh, you can set up five or six actually, but I'm just going to set up four today to make it easier for you guys. So that's it. That's the setup. So now we're going to get into, so the pump right above the lava and then the four steam engines on both, all sides of it. So then you're going to take your wooden waterproof pipe and just stick it on top of there. And from here, you're going to use your stone or cobblestone or stone or whatever, um, waterproof pipe. And you're just gonna bring it on down right on down 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 so bring bring it and this can go as far as you want it doesn't matter um, it does not matter so um, usually I do want to say I like to make the pump a little bit higher than the lava source because then it has like a suction it's like a giant straw that goes down it goes really far down into the lava and starts sucking it all up and all that cool stuff so now we're gonna bring it straight down this cobblestone pipe all right, so now it's down here, and uh, I'm gonna set up some tanks just to show you how these work. So then, we'll bring it across. All right, working good. All right, so now, once we start pumping the lava, the lava will come straight over down. It'll start filling up the tanks. Um, I'm actually only gonna put one. So it's going to start filling up the tanks and then that, say you run out of lava up here, you will run out of lava because it takes the lava. You'll have that last little bit to like find a new source so it'll give you time. So now what you want to do is at the very end of your cobblestone, wherever you have it, your house or whatever, you're going to set down your geothermal generator, see, and then the lava will fill up and then you're going to run your glass fiber cable right out into whatever you need for electricity so that's gonna be our electric furnace so now 
as you can see, this doesn't have to be your setup. I'm just setting it up like this to show you. So once you're ready to pump, so remember wooden waterproof pipe first, then your cobblestone to go down. You can have tanks or not, doesn't matter. And then you're gonna have your cobblestone pipe waterproof remember it has to be waterproof into your geothermal and then you can have any type of cable coming out just make sure it's like copper cable copper and slate cable or glass fiber i like glass fiber because it's better and to go into any type of thing that uses electricity like electric furnace and a macerator so now what we're going to do is we're going to go get our coal right here and then we're going to fill it up you can put four stacks in there, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put five or four. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Just fill all four of them up. Alright, so that is pretty much it guys. Um I'm gonna just set this off right now. So let's go get our redstone torch. And you're gonna put this on both sides, so there, and then there, and you'll see they start going. And now, what you're going to see now is actually, let's break this so we can actually see. See, now you see, that is the straw thing that goes down below the pump, and it'll start sucking up the lava, see, right here. So, it'll start going down, all the way down, and it'll fill up that tank. So, uh, I'll come back once the tank is filled up. Okay, we're back, and the tank is halfway filled up, and as you can see, the lava has come down. Um, this volcano doesn't isn't gonna last long. I knew it because I didn't put that much lava in there. It's just on the top, so the it pumped it out. And plus, it's probably getting low on coal. But it pumped it out. It came all the way down into the tank. The tank's halfway filled up, and the rest came all the way in to the geothermal generator. And right here, right here is where you see the lava is actually powering the geothermal generator, and it is going into the electric furnace. As you can see, the electric furnace is now powered so you can make like in this you can make you can put overclockers in here if you want to make it go a lot faster so now you can put like iron ingots in here or iron ore and make iron ingots with electricity instead of the normal coal solution that people normally do so that is tutorial two of tech tutorials and i hope this helped um so guys thanks for watching like comment subscribe and as always be a boss